We are back. Take zero. We're back. Where have you guys been? Where have we been? This is a popular question. I've gotten it a million times. Uh, so today is Friday, November 22nd. So it's the uh, anniversary of JFK's assassination here in Dallas, Texas. It's also one of my best friend's birthday today. Where have we been? Uh, the last content we shot was in July. The last content we posted was in August of 2019. Couple, of, A lot of things have been uh, going on. We've been here. I've uh, been here in Dallas. We've been working on a lot of projects and uh, we've been incredibly, incredibly busy. What we've been doing, we've been building out our team. So we have added like uh, seven or eight new people uh, since um, August. So we've been training everybody up here at Intellic. We do a three-step training program, step one, step two, step three. So we've been getting everyone through step one training. We added to our business development group. We added a bunch of engineers, brought those engineers into the projects that we're working on. And we're going to kind of actually go over some of the stuff that we've been working on another video and a follow-up video. So we've been building out the team. I reorganized the company in a, li a little bit. We took the opportunity adding these new people to build out a new structure, uh, well, actually not a new structure, structure, extend on the existing structure we already have. So uh, we're using a mentoring system at Intellic now, and uh, it's been going phenomenally well. Why haven't we been producing content? It comes down to the fact that we ran out of time to be able to do it. My wife's father passed away uh, at the end of July, and so I decided to take two months off from shooting content to just support her while she was in mourning and do my job here at Intellic and then support my family. Number two, Zach did the IIoT um, road trip in September, so we weren't gonna be able to shoot content during that month. And then we I actually thought we would resume shooting content in October. It actually didn't even get until much later in November before we could resume shooting content. Zach's behind the camera today. He flew out this morning and uh, we are going to... The channel's been doing extremely yep. well. Yeah, we're going to be resuming. Exactly. Uh, so since we stopped shooting content, we have added like, uh, I think 600 followers to our YouTube channel. That is without any new content whatsoever. I've gotten thousands and thousands and thousands of comments and or uh, inbound messages through LinkedIn. I apologize, I don't respond to everybody. I do try to respond to as many people as I possibly can. That should get a little bit better because we're adding some resources to help us get through all those, those messages and questions. We've been forging a lot of strategic partnerships with other integrators overseas and some other integrators here in the United States. But the reality is, is that we've just been spread really, really thin, which is the reason we grew our team as, as much as we have. No more breaks, uh, our, basically our plan, we're resuming our normal shooting schedule. So we'll be, post, yeah, we'll be posting one to two videos uh, per week, eight, eight to 12 videos per month. This month, we're gonna be talking about digital transformation. So we're gonna be going over what projects we're currently working on. We're going to be talking about, I'm going to answer, answer some questions. One of the most common questions I get is, hey, I want to get involved in digital transformation, IoT solutions, enterprise solutions. What should I be studying? So I'm going to answer that question, actually. We're going to shoot a video on what's the difference between IoT, digital transformation, industry 4.0. I'm going to answer the question, why should you digitally transform? This is for the executives out there. We've spoken to a lot of them over the last couple of months. We answer the question and they and they drink the Kool-Aid, but I, I'd like to answer the question one time and get it out there to the whole world. And then we're gonna close with the top five reasons that digital transformation and IoT initiatives fail, which is very important for everyone to know. All right, so what do we have planned? Okay, so today we're just getting reacclimated. We're shooting content just the way that we, we always have. So the stuff that we release, as you see these videos, they're gonna look very similar to the stuff that we've shot in the past. But when we shoot next month, we plan to shoot in a brand new studio with a whole new look, a more professional look. I like this organic feel and we're not going to script anything. We don't do it now and I don't plan on doing it in the future. We're going to build a studio that is much more, it's easier on the eyes and more professional looking. So we, we've been throwing around this idea of doing a mentorship program online, a creating a community of members where we can create custom content for those members and help develop. what Really what we wanna do is we wanna develop engineers the way that we develop engineers here at Intellic Integration. So how do we do that without hiring everybody? That's ultimately the question that That's we've answered. And, and so the idea here is, is we're gonna create a program where we can train engineers who don't work for Intellic Integration to do what it is that we do or don't work for 4.0 solutions. So it's literally gonna be built on our step one, step two, step three training, which is the training we, done, we do here uh, inside uh, at Intellic Integration. We have a lot of new faces in, in our organization. 
Uh, we've grown exponentially and we have nonstop really for like four years. The plan here is to go ahead and shoot our content as we, as we have in the past. And then uh, when you guys see the new content, which should come out in the month of January, uh, that content that comes out in January should have a completely different look and feel, but the content's gonna be exactly the same. I just wanna say thank you to all the loyal subscribers that are still with us and all the people who have joined us since we took our little hiatus in August, September, and October. There's a lot of, we have a lot of great content coming. Uh, all of it is centered around digital transformation, IIoT, and how to, you know, how to fundamentally change the way that automation is treated in the United States. So we're glad you're here, and I'm really excited to get started. We're back.